So today I'm going to be breaking down one of Nicky Ryan's sequences that he used in a sparring session against J-Rod. This entire sequence starts with one of the most powerful but yet most underutilized positions in Jiu Jitsu, the seated head and arm. Hey, I'm Kaysen by the way. So we all know about the gift wrap, the multiple submission opportunities that it grants us, which most of the time as myself we use this as a good opportunity for a back take, which is great. Still very, very good option, but there's still one other position opportunity that I find to be almost as effective as taking the back, the seated head and arm. So for side disclaimer, unfortunately, I didn't get permission from Gold Talent MMA to actually show you guys the footage play by play. So I'm having to kind of do what I can and fill in the gaps between, you know, some of the scenes that I can't show. Please make sure to click the link in the comment section below to go to Gold Talent MMA's channel and watch that video at the exact timestamp of when this part happens in the role. First off, let's go ahead and take a look at how Nikki got this gift wrap. Nikki's a very smart guy. He immediately tries to isolate an arm, pins it to the mat, which causes J-Rod to cross the center line. You can see here that J-Rod's really trying to fight Nikki's hand so he can't get the figure four of his arms, but it's only a matter of time at this point. Once his figure four is established, instead of taking the back, he sits on his butt and slides his left leg underneath his body to shelf his head to cause him to have weightless legs. The reason why this position is so devastating is not because it's putting a lot of pressure on your opponent, but rather it's giving you complete upper body control while having weightless legs to utilize your attacks. Our attacks are gonna be contingent upon our opponent's reactions. Since we have weightless legs, we can play a game of leg pummeling. If my right leg is pummeled through his far arm, we can easily allow our partner to come up into a front triangle. However, if my left leg is pummeled through, we can grab a Kimura grip and lock up a rear triangle. Likely their head that is shelved on your thigh will eventually drop, giving you the opportunity to go for an armbar. And of course, if you're just unhappy with the options your opponent's giving you, you can always just take the back. Notice how when Nikki enters the seated head and arm, he doesn't waste any time and he immediately tries to threaten that rear triangle. J-Rod's defending really well here, so Nikki knows it's time to try to threaten a front triangle, but loses the shelf head in the process and ends up in a great armbar position. Nikki's not going to be satisfied unless he gets the strangle. So he switches his arms and actually grabs his waist to help pull himself up into an S-mount position. And because his right leg's already beaten his far shoulder, he just picks up his head and locks up a triangle on mount and finishes. One major thing that I could tell I did different while practicing this was instead of grabbing his waist like Nikki Ryan did, I actually posted my arm out to help pulled myself up. While I was practicing this on my own, it really didn't click in my mind that I accidentally did that. I'm just going to stick with what Nikki's doing exactly. Grab the waist, try to pull the, use your opponent to pull your weight back up on top. Maybe posting out on the mat may give them a little more wiggle room to try to escape out. I don't really know if that, that's what he did on purpose or not. But trying to copy what Nikki Ryan's doing, you're not going to go wrong with it. So watching this again, he switches arms, he grabs over his waist to pull himself up over his body. The far leg is already beating the far shoulder. He lifts his head up, locks up the triangle, gets the finish. And that was the seated head and arm performed by one of the greatest of competitors we have alive today. I don't even think I ever really started using this position until I watched it in Gordon Ryan's mount instructional. You guys have to let me know if you utilize this in your game already, but if not, give it a shot in class. Let me know how much success you have with it. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you next time.